Today I am going to tell you my thoughts on two super affordable palettes. It just occurred to me that I don't remember the price of either of them. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you my thoughts on two super, super affordable palettes. So I have the Essence Crystal Ice Palette, which is only $9.99. I also have from iHeart Revolution. This is the Tasty Chili Palette, which packaging wise, this already wins, but this palette is only $15. So I'm gonna just dive in. I'm gonna tell you about both. I do have clips of me applying both. I'm actually wearing the Tasty Chili today, as you can see. And I feel like I do this every time when I choose two products to review side by side, head to head. They're both good or they're both bad. It's like either way, there's not like a huge winner and a huge loser, but at any rate, I'm gonna tell you about both palettes, what my thoughts are, and basically if this is worth your money. So without further ado, let's just dive into it. All right, I'm gonna start by telling you about the Essence Crystal Ice Palette. It is only $10, so super, super affordable, as are all the Essence products. You probably know them for their great mascaras, super affordable mascaras that are really good. Um, so first off, this palette has 16 shades in it. I do like that it is side by side. I know some people will say, oh, I wish I had a mirror. I'm fine with it. I don't really think that you absolutely need a mirror unless you are someone who travels with your palettes all the time. In that case, yeah, they could have just probably rearranged and squeezed a mirror in there for sure. But I really love that this comes with, you know, your crystal ice colors, very blue, very green, beautiful shades, but you also have neutrals in here. So I like that maybe you want some blue, but you know you're not going to wear that all the time. You've still got some really usable colors in here. So with this palette, I first off dipped into Frep Bay and just use it as a transition color. I moved in and used Frosted, Snow Cone. I also used Blizzard, Iceberg, Glacier. I used Ice Queen. So I was able to use most of the colors in this palette. I also used Lemon Ice in the corner of my eye. So I was able to come up with a really beautiful look. I did both of these palettes the exact same way. So I actually went in with lately what I've been loving as my eyeshadow base is actually the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. So I love this as concealer. I have it on today. It's gorgeous. It doesn't crease really bad. It creases, but I crease with everything. Um, but great coverage. It wears beautifully. It doesn't feel heavy under the eyes. So it also works as an eye primer. So highly recommend that. I didn't powder it as a base. I left it completely a little bit tacky. It does dry down kind of quick. So you don't have to worry about it being so wet and sticky that your brush is going to like stick and drag. It is kind of self-setting in a way, just a little bit. So as it begins to dry, the blend will get easier, but you don't really need to powder your eyelid before you do that. It blends beautifully on top of it, even if for some people, you know, maybe that's not what they're used to. I know I used to always powder my eyelids before adding any eyeshadow, and now I've become a little bit more comfortable using that, but it works beautifully. And it kind of came up with like a mermaid vibe. Um, I did post it on Instagram, but I also used some gloss over top of it for the post on Instagram. So what you'll see in the clip is basically me before I added the gloss. Now, I kind of regret adding the glitter that you'll see because before that it was so beautifully blended. And yeah, it's like a crazy blue look not everybody's gonna wear, but I really dug it. I thought it was beautiful. If you haven't entered my giveaway, I'm wearing this palette in that giveaway video so you can see me wearing it like full on lights like I am right now um, rather than just the application. So if you wanna see it that way, you can go to the giveaway or if you've already watched the giveaway and I had a few people ask what I was wearing, it was this guy right here. So I don't think that you can go wrong with this palette. It blended beautifully. Even this frosted, which is super bright blue, it blended so nicely. It didn't really like hang up on the concealer. It didn't um, like skip like a lot of shadows do, which I have a problem with that. I don't know what it is, but shadows tend to skip, especially right in this area. And you'll see like little dashes where the brush like didn't quite, you know, smoothly graze across the eyelid. But usually I can blend it out pretty easily. This one I didn't really have that problem. So that was a really good plus. Um, in addition to that, again, really neutral colors here. You have some great, browns. I actually love like the peaches and the reds, but you can tell by swatching they're richly pigmented. They're really creamy, really blendable. And this was my first time using an Essence eyeshadow palette. And I was skeptical going in. I'm like, oh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. But I have to say, 
for 10 bucks i do not think you can go wrong with this and if the quality is consistent palette to palette they have other options out there for you for sure and you can even get this on a deal when i purchased this it was buy one get one half off essence at i believe cvs so i mean you can you can even save money on top of that it is available online at ulta for 9.99 so if you want to you know grab your points um it's a good way to do that as well but a really good palette i was super super impressed with the quality yeah i mean you really can't beat it this is like on par with you know price range and quality of ColourPop, and i love ColourPop eyeshadows um their nine pan palettes are some of my favorites and you get so many shades in this for ten dollars so highly highly recommend this if you haven't checked it out and you're looking for an affordable eyeshadow palette finally something at the drugstore that i think is really really amazing i find for me personally and i haven't tried it all for sure but drugstore eyeshadows have been really the area of drugstore makeup where i haven't been impressed like i haven't found a lot of things where i was like wow that's so good so when it comes to affordable eyeshadow palettes i usually stick with like bh cosmetics or ColourPop. but now there's something i can actually go into the drugstore and buy and that's amazing so shout out to essence for a beautiful palette all right so on to this palette from iheart revolution again this is called the tasty chili palette I am going to have to insert some pictures of their other like tasty palettes because they're so freaking cute. And now that I have tried this one, I will probably have to order the other ones because this was so impressive. So this one is $15. With this one, I do enjoy the packaging a lot better. It is a hard side plastic. This is kind of like a, I don't know, like a, a plasticky, not quite as like rubbery is like nars packaging if you've ever felt that but it's got like this weird texture on the front and it's freaking adorable so in this palette you have 18 eyeshadows that is two more than the other it is 15 dollars, but again you're getting a really generous size you have a huge mirror in here so it is quite large and perfect for on the go if you actually are using your mirror um i actually think i'm going to travel with this palette really soon i usually take specific high-end palettes with me when i travel because i don't want to have to fuss with anything i don't want something that i think is not going to work but this blended so beautifully as well this is what i have on right now it is like fiery fall vibes and i really love it i think this is a stunning stunning palette so i feel honestly that the quality is very very close the only hang up i had with this well is a couple little things that i'll mention when i was blending i think it was hot sauce which is this orangey shade i did have that problem with it skipping a little bit across the eyelid again using the same base so i was using the covergirl concealer but it blended really nicely after that like it was an initial little thing but once you buffed and blended there was no issue with it like i was able to make it look really beautiful in my opinion i think it looks gorgeous so this one's a little fresher in my mind so if it seems like i remember this one and i don't remember the other one as much is true so with this one i started with pepper which i thought would be a little bit more muted it was a little bit more yellow than i expected but it's beautiful nonetheless i went to hot sauce i eventually blended in a little bit of chipotle i blended in flames i also went into cayenne eventually especially under my eye i used hot mess in the inner corner and along the lower lash line in the inner part on the lid i have a mixture of scoville I don't know how to pronounce that and inferno so i kind of blended and faded the two so you've got scoville right here and then inferno is like a really nice red brown um like a brick shade and it's absolutely gorgeous so everything about this looks beautiful to me so the shimmers are nice some of them aren't like in your face like some shimmers and other palettes but you can see they are absolutely beautiful they look very metallic very wet looking and i didn't have any trouble with uh, fallout it wasn't crumbly i just i can't say enough like that was amazing to me so what i didn't mention about the essence their metallics are absolutely beautiful as well this had a more like normal metallic feel to it where you know you kind of feel the need to wet a brush you need to pack it in um just a tiniest bit of fallout but it was not bad at all like there was really no complaints with that but this is like a good fall palette the purple is kind of like the different thing but even that and burnin 
and extra hot they may be a little off but they are like jewel tones and they have like this rich quality to them especially the metallics on either finger i feel like those are very fall as well you can easily go into jewel tones like jade emerald um, these type of like deeper plums blues and go with something that still looks fall but isn't like this which is like you know Hey, I'm pumpkin spice in your face. Um, so you can create different looks with this. I really love it. Like I said, because the quality of this is so amazing, I am definitely willing to go spend some money to get these other palettes because this was really, really good. I think personally, I'm leaning toward the Tasty Chili a little bit, which you can probably tell by, you know, my talking of it. But the only reason is because I really love like the rich fall tones, the jewel tones, the mattes blended beautifully. And while this also performed really, really well, not to take anything away from the quality of this one, but these are shades I'm not gonna use a lot. So realistically, you know, you have maybe six or seven really wearable shades, these browns, and some people wouldn't consider these wearable. So, you know, on an everyday basis, someone might wear three, four, maybe five of these colors. Whereas the blues are not going to be worn as much, especially this time of year. Not that we're only talking about fall palettes, but um, it's just something to consider too. Like, yes, it's very affordable. And if you need a pop of blue that you don't already have, um, it's a great way to add just a little bit of color to a really neutral look without saying like, hey, I have blue eyelids right now, which is, you know, that's how I do it. But that's fine, you know, whatever. Really happy with both of these palettes. I hope you guys enjoyed just hearing my thoughts and seeing the different looks that I came up with. I know you guys said in my other video you wanted to see that. Also, if you didn't see that one, I did do a head-to-head -head of two a little bit pricier palettes, the Lime Crime Venus Vivid and the Sugar Pill Mini Color Palette. This is their fun size palette. Both of these are really bright, bold palettes, but I created some really fun looks in my opinion. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to do so. Also, be sure to enter my big collab giveaway that was uploaded a few days ago and yeah it's a really exciting one a ton of prizes so make sure you are subscribed and then go check out that video all you have to do is follow like comment and you can follow on instagram for an extra entry if you would like so be sure to do all those things if you're not interested in the giveaway but you haven't subscribed please please subscribe it means the world to me um it just helps me get my videos to other people and you know i get to do what i love here so i'm so so appreciative and I love you guys. I hope you're doing amazing and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.